Have you ever wondered how a truck really works? How it's built? How it's developed? Let us show you. This is Trucks Anatomy. Fuel accounts for roughly one third of the total operating costs in the long haul business. In this episode of Trucks Anatomy, we will focus on fuel efficiency and how Volvo Trucks fleet management system Dynafleet can be used to ensure that every drop counts. There's a number of factors that can affect a truck's fuel consumption, including tire pressure, weight, axle alignment, weather conditions and the overall condition of the vehicle. However, one of the biggest factors is actually um, the driver. Right. Uh, how the vehicle is driven is key when it comes to fuel efficiency. So, to see just how much the driver can reduce fuel consumption, Andrew Lowe, Volvo Trucks Driver Development Manager, invited me for a small fuel saving contest. And as it happens, our showdown today will take place at the very same track as this year's Driver's Fuel Challenge final. The track measures 7 kilometers and the rules are simple. Finish the circuit under 15 minutes and obey all traffic rules. And the contenders are me, Peter Sonfeld, former race car driver and automotive journalist. Andrew Lowe, Volvo Trucks Driver Development Manager, a real expert when it comes to fuel-efficient driving. Right, Andy, talk your set. Absolutely, okay. I'm ready with a stopwatch and we've reset the systems, yeah. So I'll just... <laughs> Start the truck, yeah. yeah. Make sure we're in neutral first and then yeah. They'll, yeah, now the clock is running, so as soon as the engine started there, yeah. And we're off. I've been driving a couple of practice runs and got me some good driving advice from Andrew. But now, the challenge is on. It's like driving a, with a motorcycle, right? I mean, you think ahead. The techniques are very yeah. similar, yeah, yeah, yeah. What we're trying to achieve is maybe in some way slightly different, but um, like you say, you know, braking hard into corners and things like that uh, is what we're trying to avoid. Now we have a stop. Yeah, so, yeah we're, we're actually forced to do a stop yeah. here. We're joining the, the main road again. I feel like a truck driver. <laughs> <laughs> now we're building up speed. Yeah, exactly. Towards the long straight. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yes. We want to get up to a good, uh, comfortable cruising speed in a quick and efficient way. I'm letting go the uh, accelerator. Yeah, nice and early. It's a very big difference, you know, when you have the weight of a truck pushing you down the road compared to a, a car. Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you really do feel it. <laughs> You can see now again we have eye roll engaged. You're well on target to be within your 15 minutes. That shouldn't be a problem for me driving fast. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe the maybe the time wasn't your biggest issue today. Yeah. No. <laughs> I can see some of my numbers on the onboard trip log, and I really hope it adds up to a good score in the end. It's when you turn the engine off that I'm yeah, stopping the time, so we need to make sure yeah. we're. Neutral and off. Right, you got your iPad out? Yeah, yeah, we're already here. And uh, yeah, just looking at everything, getting all the figures together, you ended up uh, with the average score of 89 points at a maximum of 100. Ah. So that's actually really good. That's good. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Okay, then beat it. I'm going to try, yeah. <laughs> Hit me with your best yeah, performance we'll try. now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you set a good, uh, good target there. So let's see, uh, see how close I can get. There we go. Quick off the line, as we yeah, say in exactly. racing. Quick and efficient off the line in this mm -hmm. case, then, yeah. I'm going to study carefully what you're doing in the yep. first hill. So I'm using the nice yeah. and flat part here, then yeah. trying to build up, and now we're in a, in a good gear, gear here. Yeah. So I'm looking at trying to hold this gear. I'm looking at getting off the throttle a little bit early, very similar to what you did. So I'm using as much of the energy we've put into the truck as possible. Here you actually throttled a little bit, which is a little bit of a habit, which I've, I've not done here because I feel like I have enough momentum here and I know we're okay. going to be turning left here. Just after a few minutes with Andrew behind the wheel, it's clear to me that he's a skilled driver, using the truck's physics to take control of the vehicle. A little bit of engine braking here, even going to change down. I left it to the truck totally. Yeah, exactly. And, and the truck will actually handle it in a very good way. But quite often you need to be the eyes of the truck as well. Mm. So I can see that there's an obstruction, a corner, a hill or, or whatever it may be. So I, I'm giving my feedback back to the, the drivetrain on what it is that I want to do and why. 
So now we're up to 50. I'm even now I'm going to put on the cruise control myself, yeah, just because yeah. then I know it's a good way of an efficient way of, of, of keeping that constant speed. I'm really curious about this race, this challenge. Did I coast long enough on the long straight? Was my downshift on the steep hill a thirsty one? Well, we'll see soon enough. We're coming to a complete stop soon. Right, let's have the verdict. Yeah, I can see yeah. you're really keen to know. <laughs> I so am. Uh, I am. let's take a look in the, in the Dynafleet app and, and mm. see what the result is then. Well, uh, I'm sorry to say, Peter, but I've ended up slightly beating your score with uh, 96 points. 96, and I had 89. Well, not too bad. No, no, no you've done very no, well. Yeah, no, exactly. No, but no. we can take a little bit closer look at some of the data, right. see where those differences were. So here you can actually see that you've ended up with using the brake pedal on average 165 times per 100 kilometers compared to with my 105 times. That was a difference. Yeah, there's yeah. a difference there, yeah. And, and then, of course, if we look at the coasting, you can see that I ended up with a, a total of 39.4% of the time of, of, of just purely rolling, so it's really high. But you, you end up with a result of 30%, so still very good. It's good, but it's a big difference. Yeah, yeah. still a difference. Yeah. But if mm. we combine all these figures up together, then mm. we can see that we end up with a difference in fuel consumption of around 11.5%. That's a bigger difference. Yeah, it really 11 is. 11.5%. Yeah. So, so all those small differences really add up. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Every yeah. drop counts. Yeah. So in my case, it would be a, a small lake. Yeah, 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 maybe, yeah. But you, you can really see here that with all these added up then, that it's really making a difference to the operator's bottom line. And, and as you've seen yourself, it's only the small differences that the driver is doing that add up to this, this big difference. But with what I've learned today, with all these little techniques and your, or your uh, tricks, yeah. I think I can beat you. Maybe. You could give it a shot anyway, yeah? I will. Next time. <laughs> Thank you. Pleasure, thank you. That's it, and uh, see you in the next episode of Trucks Anatomy. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye.